Hi everybody and welcome to Penfinity. My name is Wesley 22 and today uh, I'm going to show you a quick tip about uh, it's going to be the continuation of uh, Select Like a Ninja. So it will be a, a little series about quick tip with selection and stuff like that. And today I want to show you something that uh, was annoying me a lot uh, before I uh, set up my my source scheme app. So let me show you what it is about. Let me first resnap that to center. So I uh, reload the default setting of Blender here. So I want to show you what it is I'm talking about. So let's say, for example, I have a cube. And uh, let me subdivide this. Subdivide. OK. So let's say I have this. If you want to do multiple a multiple selection oh yes sorry i forgot to select that if you want to do a multiple selection and uh often when i 3d model i want to switch the active here what i have to do unfortunately unfortunately i have to uh, de uh deselect the one i want to set as active and reselect it to make it active and I do that often because when I do complex modeling, sometimes I have to rotate a whole part of, of the geometry based on, on certain axes. And even if we have the, we can do, we can normally do that with this one, with the shift, control shift and uh, select mouse. It doesn't work all, uh, all the time because it, it conflicts with the, with the, with the shortest path and the, the, the multiple selection tool. So what I did instead, let me show you with my configuration. Let me switch that to prop, no, not property, user preference and 3D view global. Okay. Let me see if I keep it. Okay, so I have the shift select here and this one. And as you can see, both have exact, exactly the same shortcut. So what it allows me to do. So if I have multiple selection like this, so all I have to do is to click again to shift in the in the part of geometry i want to make active so for example if i switch to edge and um, i s change to active elements here and i uh and i want to rotate here for example all i have to do is select it and rotate it like this or if i want to rotate here i have to i select it and rotate it like this so i don't have to let me i don't have to deselect it and reselect it to make it active and trust me this tiny stuff will make a huge difference in your 3d, 3D modeling process because most of, most of the time as i said on complex modeling you will have to switch something really quick and not having to to repeat that all the time is is uh, is a really um it's not a, a time server on a sh on on the on the short term, but on the long term, you will save a lot of time with different tricks like this. And that's exactly the the type of stuff I will show you in the in the Mesh Master course. We will go over the setup of the of the source schema, but I will explain to you how to set up um, um, shortcut based on the stage of modeling. And uh, let me give you another example. For example, uh, if you know the 80 20 uh, principle rule, I apply this to the to to this game app, which means 20% of the 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 basic 3D mod modeling tool uh, will produce 80% of the work. So, what is the 20%? The 20% is something like extrusion, uh, inset, offsets, uh, subdivide, uh, and knife and the knife tool. This is the the basic tool you use to manipulate the geometry. And I set up the, the key map in a way, um, let me show you. All those tools are not assigned to any key map. Everything happens with the mouse. So for example, if I want to uh, extrude uh, a, a part of the mesh, all I have to do, I just take, take the mesh like this and just drag it like this. 
So um, I, I call that mo motion modeling because imagine if you um, use clay, for example, if you want to extend or shrink something, you, you will you will grab it and try to to pu to pull it out. And uh, this is the same principle I apply with uh, with this basic tool because to me it's it's counterintuitive to use keyboard for those type of stuff. You you, you have to go with the flow. So let me show you for example. I can just drag, scale, insert, drag. Let me remove that. Select this, drag again, drag, close it, subdivide, insert, subdivide again, and whoops. Oh, let me move that. And I can continue uh, to drag stuff like this. And all those operations I, I, I just showed you here are assigned to only, uh, to only one button of the mouse. But the difference is uh, in the modeling stage because each of these operations has different stage, uh, which means with the proper setup, you can activate uh, the tool depending of the stage you are in. It is for this, um, the same as if I want to zoom, zoom in, zoom out, it is assigned to a key. But on the same key, I can call a mesh if, if I need to, you see? So I can zoom in, zoom out. And if I want an object, I press the, the same key. And I, I will show you because you have, you have to set up Blender uh, in a really precise way to make that happen. So this is all that stuff I will show you in the Mesh Master course. So stay tuned about that. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to keep it as packed as possible because I don't want to give you a, a five hours course. It doesn't make sense for that type of stuff because time is the most valuable currency we have and we have to learn as fast as possible in the less amount of time. So uh, this will be a really compact and dense uh, 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 knowledge to grasp. So uh, as I said, it, it, it will be uh, really difficult in the beginning to grab because it will challenge everything you know about Blender. But trust me, with those uh, simple tricks uh, at the end of this course, you will have the best, the best 3D modeling package for, uh, for, for modeling art surface and, and organic stuff. So stay tuned about that. This one was a tiny trick about how to stay, how to keep everything act, uh, uh, selected what switching the active. So uh, I hope it was informative. As always, if you have any question, don't hesitate to, to leave a comment below. And uh, until the next video, guys, I wish you a great day and take care, everybody.